Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's me, RP. Thank you so much for joining me and let me steal some of your time. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions about how I've got my wheel set up, how I've got all of the functions on my wheel working, and I've been trying to answer the questions on my, uh, on my channel, on the videos that I'm doing, the best that I can, but I figured now might be a good time just to show you guys how I actually set the wheel up. So I've got a nice big picture of the wheel here for you to see. I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna reset my wheel so that you guys can see it. Pull over here safely. We can park right here next to this awesome mural. Get the sun in our eyes. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the car in neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my handbrake using B. I am using the Logitech G920. The Logitech G920, I wanna stress that. That is the wheel I use and that is the only wheel I know about. Uh, I'm hoping that other wheels, the Sony wheel, uh, the G929 I believe it is, uh, I hope that this uh, applies to it. But let's get going, let's get started. So first off, you need to be in the game like I am now because you need to access a couple of different menus. So we're gonna hit escape. And we're going to go over here and in game settings, make sure your gearbox mode is set to simulation plus clutch. This is how it works for me. I've tried it in the other modes, this mode, I've tried it in this mode and this mode, and it doesn't work. It works in this mode and that's where I need to start. And that's how I started. So gameplay mode, gearbox mode, simulation and clutch. Let's get back here. Now we're going to, instead of going into the game settings, we're going to go into the system settings. I'm going to hit control. I'm going to find my wheel. My wheel's right here. Now my wheel's already set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unset it. I'm going to hit B. I'm going to let it be default. Now, if you own the Logitech G920 Xbox version and you plug and play this wheel in, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a shift down and a shift up for your paddles and everything will be assigned like this. Your blinkers are going to be on the left stick, the right stick, uh, and all of it. And then in order to change your view, they have you doing this combo with the left stick and the Y, the right stick and the Y. Basically, you have to hold this Y and then, you know, jump around like this. I, I, I don't like that. All right. I want to look left. I want to look right. I want to use my paddles. So this is how my setup evolved is I just wanted my paddles somewhere other than in that kind of configuration. So what I had to do was I had to take my shift down, press on it and assign it to LSB, which is my turn signal. So now I don't have a turn signal, but that's fine. We'll get to that later. Now I want to shift up. So I put it on RSB right here. I'm going to put it there. Click it. Click A. Now I want to change my views. I'm going to leave the blinkers alone. They've, they've been unassigned now because we took them off of uh, these two buttons right here and put our buttons that were here down here. So these are unassigned right now. But we're going to assign them because that's what I want to look left and look right with. So I hit this. Pull this paddle. I hit this one. Pull this paddle. Now there's my left, right look. I'm all set. My transmission's down here. Tap this side to go into reverse, this side to go into drive. Now I need to have my turn signals assigned. I'm going to go find them. They're right up here. They're blank. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to click the d left D-pad. And there is the left turn signal. The right turn signal, I'm going to assign it to the right. But that is the map. I'm going to say, I'm okay with that. Rebind it. Now, the map is out there hanging around with no, no button. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to use this button right here for the map. That's it. I'm done. I'm not changing the X. I'm not changing the A. I'm not changing the B. It is, by default, what it is. So I haven't changed anything. Save it. Confirm, escape, resume, B to release the parking brake, RSB to put it into drive, pedals to go. And there you have it. That's how I set up my wheel. I hope that helps you guys out. I hope a visual live demonstration 
of how the wheel is set up for me. That's how easy it is. I had no problems. If you're having problems, guys, please do me a favor. Get on the Discord and let the developers know. I'm just a guy that likes to play the game, and I like to have my wheel set up this way. And I like to share the uh, information in a nice, clear way so that those of you that want to be set up the way I am, you can do it. So thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to check out any of my Taxi Drive, uh, Taxi Life uh, Driving Simulator videos. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider a subscription. And don't forget to hit the like button, everybody, if you want to see more little tips like this. And uh, I will catch you in the next episode. Ta-ta and bye-bye.